For the gamers who love games, why wait for greatness? Xbox One is here. Hey guys, Bryce360 here. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about Xbox One games. So there's quite a few of them being released this year, and especially towards holiday, a lot of multi-plats, a lot of exclusives, um, but I really sat down to think there's a lot of stuff to play, and to be able to get through it, um, you have games like Metal Gear Solid, Fallout 4, um, Battle uh, Front, uh, you have Halo 5 Guardians, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Forza 6, Fable Legends. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff. And I made the decision that I'm going to go ahead and go with all the exclusive games for this year. So the Halo 5, Guardians, Rise of the Tomb Raider, Forza 6, and uh, of course Fable Legends, which is free to play. And a couple other small titles, but... Those the games alone are going to keep me busy. And the reason why I made this, this decision is because by the time that I finish these games and get into the beginning of next year, those games are going to be cheaper. Like all the multiplats will be, be cheaper. And not to mention, I'll f I feel like if I support first-party titles uh, for Xbox, they're going to say, okay, well, sales are dramatically higher in our first-party sales. And they're going to be more driven to focus in those areas. Multiplats will always come to our console, but they'll go down in price. Uh, and I am happy with first-party titles. I find that, especially right now, it seems like Xbox One titles that are first-party are just better quality than the multiplats are. I also wanted to talk to you about the new dashboard. So I did upload a video um, by uh, Major Nelson. Um, he actually, they do a walkthrough of the new Xbox One experience. Um, it looks amazing. Um, it looks better from what I can see from when they first showed it off. Um, it looks very fast, very fluid. Uh, I am signed up for the program. Um, I did opt in and hopefully I get that very soon. Um, but from what I can see, it looks uh, stunning, and um, I'm very excited. Like, I didn't really mind the old dashboard, but after seeing this one, I realized kind of how clunky the other one is, you can say. It almost feels like it wasn't the one that should have been released on the Xbox. And it, the new Xbox experience matches very well with uh, the Xbox app that's on Windows 10. So... Uh, this is just a more refined version for consoles, but um, I'm definitely very excited for this. And the last thing I wanted to talk about is, this is for Xbox One fans, pro Xbox One gamers. Um, be very um, acceptance. I don't know if that's the word to use, but just be prepared to acknowledge that there is going to be a lot of hate for the Xbox One coming up. A lot of bad news articles um, or a lot of spinoffs um, in favor of the PlayStation. The reason why I'm telling you that is because PlayStation doesn't have anything going for it this holiday. So they need a way to drive sales up for the PlayStation. And the way they do that is to either damage control positive Xbox One news or try to spin off things on the Xbox to make it, you know, good news look bad. Um, the Xbox has a ton of exclusives coming out, exclusives that are already out, exclusives that are coming this year. Um, there's a lot of positive things like Xbox 360 compatibility um, to the new dashboard. And Sony only has really multi-plats to show which Xbox is getting as well. That's why Sony's trying to advertise that their multi-plats are exclusives. So just be prepared. Um, you know, there'll be a lot of hate in the comment sections uh, on these articles. And I don't fall for the trap. Just don't fall for it. This is a very common thing towards the holidays. Uh, the Xbox tends to get a lot of hate. And, um, you know, you'll see these random awards come up, um, you know, in favor of the PlayStation. And it's just to be expected because the PlayStation's just in favor right now. People tend to prefer the PlayStation uh, perceivably or just in the limelight. So uh, just my thoughts, guys. Uh, and just let me know what you think uh, in the comment section. And uh, thanks for watching.